Hey everyone, I'm here today with an icon of stage and screens big and small, uh, Miss Ellen Green. She is here back in New York. We were always thrilled when, when you're back in New York because... Love New York! I can't believe I'm back. I, I, can't be I forgot how much I missed it. Well, you're back because you are uh, the toast of the town this weekend as one of the stars of the New York Film Festival. I'm very excited. The film is being honored. Frank is being honored and I suppose me. Frank, uh, and Frank who? Okay, so Frank we're talking about Oz. Frank Oz, and, and we're talking Mankin. about Little Shop of Horrors. I'm sure it's a movie that you've heard of, because we're all obsessed with Little Shop of Horrors. And it's being shown at the New York Film Festival. It's very exciting. On Saturday night. I hope everybody is coming. I, I'm just really excited. We're going to see the very, we're going to see the, well, the original ending. So, okay, so let's talk about this. We all know from the show, that the, the show ends, um, this is a total spoiler, so if you've never seen Little Shop of Horrors, shame on you, <laughs> but turn this off. But Audrey too, the plant, eats you. Yes. It's very sad. Uh, eats Seymour. Well, they give me to the plant, so it will live, right. and it will grow, and so I will go to school. I love that you have a positive screen. spin on that. Well, it is. It's the way Audrey says, so feed me to the plant, and... And I, the plant will grow big and strong, and I will go with somewhere that's green. But we, the original ending... Well, wait. In the, show, in the show, the plant eats everyone, and then it kind of eats the theater. Correct. So, uh, so when they were making a movie of it, they made the plant eat the whole world. And then the, the vines world. come down. Right. 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 But in the film, uh, the audience didn't want me to go, and Rick, didn't, they didn't want him to die either. Well, who would want Ellen Green to die? Well, thank you. Or Audrey. And so... Um, we did another, I had, I had filmed for nine months, and Rick had filmed for ten months, and then we came back after this summer, and we filmed for two more weeks, the new ending. I only saw the original ending once, and that was at Howard's apartment on his computer. Howard Ashman. Your Howard Ashman. The late, great Howard Ashman, your Howard good friend. Ashman, who I dearly love and really will miss, because this is a big time. This is Lincoln Center. But anyhow. I was at his apartment with Blair Brown and her son, then was very small, Robert, and we saw on his screen about yay big, just the black and white mock-ups of the very end, and Robert got so scared he jumped over Blair and myself and went in the back and was looking through us. But that's the only time I think I've ever seen it. I do know that there was a laser disc, remember laser discs, right. that came out at one point that had what, the black and white version and, and, and of it? Uh, Frank and David had it pulled because yeah, it was David Geffen and, like, pulled it off the stores. But it wasn't like, representative. Show queens were sitting there holding them and they yanked them out of well, their hands. But Frank is, <laughs> is a genius when it comes to this stuff. And his work wasn't, you know, you don't want someone to see you mid-work. Right. You know, what if you, sh you know, showed this without editing? Yeah. You know, it would be positively wrong. He wanted it the way he envisioned it. And he is truly a genius when it comes to the plants. I mean, he's wonderful. I mean, he's a really wonderful director. And this, I've, I've found out that through the years, it seems to have become so much more famous. I mean, it's become such a cult thing. And yeah. I, I so appreciate everyone loving it. And I, I, of course, love it. And um, and cherish it because of Howard and Allen. I mean, we created this. F I was making fifty dollars a week at the WPA on Fifth Avenue, yeah. and it was such a magical month. I mean, the first act was cut and edited and put on stage the first week, and the second act the second week. And you know, there's sometimes in your life, like when I'm cooking that it just goes just right, and the timing, and the dinner, and everything, it's baked, and everything, the souffle, it's just, just right, and Alan, we were just reminiscing uh, recently, and there was nothing, nothing like that time. They were boys, and it was the most exciting time, but making this film, Frank's genius, yeah. the, picking the people he picked, that set, Suddenly, Seymour, the grass was growing through cement. It was as romantic as it looked on screen. Mm. It felt. It was huge. It was on the 007 set. And yeah. the, Frank knew I had a dog named Snuffy, this Cocker Spaniel, who was black and white. And he created, had them build a stuffed animal for me to hold as Audrey. Uh, in my room, and, and the wallpaper was gotten from this antique wallpaper place in New York, uh, Rose, uh, Secondhand Rose, or, or something like that. Uh -huh. And um, it was just, 
it was amazing. Everyone, the sound person. One time they heard a sound. I was running with Steve Martin, and they heard a boom, 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 and they didn't know where it was coming from. And checking everywhere. Everybody, and finally, all the men, and there were a lot of men, uh, were around the thing, and, and they started laughing. And then the sound man came and says, pardon me, but can you divide your breasts? It was my breasts hitting the mind. <laughs> and Marit, Al Al Marit Allen was great with the designing the costumes and she that she found and I found an early Halloween that uh, leopard dress. And I want to show, uh, I'm going to hold this one, you're going to hold Please. this one. These are these are two great uh, photos of, of you and Howard. Howard's a very special person Howard in, Ashman, in your life and I'm sure that um, you're thinking about him a lot this weekend. I'm going to probably cry when I see Alan yeah. and Frank. Uh, but this is at my wedding, my first wedding. I've had two, and they're done. <laughs> um, and then this is a Christmas while we were filming the, um, while we were making the play. Wow. And a Christmas. Um, I have to show you something that I have because you know I'm a big Little Shop fan, and I bought, I got these online a couple weeks ago. Have you ever seen these tops? Uh, little shop owners playing like playing cards. Yeah, I was at, giving look at their, them. Look, there you are. There's your uh, sticker. How do you not age? What what well, is what is the secret? Have, What's the secret? I have my painting in my closet, and I keep moving it further and further in the back. Should I show what <laughs> Warner's gave me? Can you get? Uh, Warner's gave me a very special gift. Warner Brothers is being divine, by the way, uh, that they're doing and celebrating Little Shop so much. They gave me this gift basket, and inside the gift basket well, Audrey was too. a Venus flytrap. A Venus flytrap, which the plant is sort of like. And Alan, by the way, I think I mentioned, but I want to make it again. If you haven't got tickets, although I think it's sold out, please come because Alan Menken may be singing. Oh, there's a, there's a so hot please, tip. The man won enough awards. So, do you have these cards? I believe I do. Do I you do you have any any great memorabilia from the movie? Like, did you do you keep anything? I of, did of keep one of the little plants, but I have no idea where it is right now. It's maybe in the dirt. No, I think I kept a little plant. I'm uh, well. None Howard. Of the costumes Howard or? made me a doll, a doll this big. It scared the bejesus out of me. What, what kind of doll? He made me a life-size Audrey. <laughs> Did it look like you? Yeah, this person in downtown Manhattan makes uh -huh. dolls. Uh -huh. It was in cla encased in glass, and it was Audrey down to, I think I was even wearing the armband. But, um, oh, I have great news to tell you. Uh, well, let's, let's get it out. Um, you remember that I did Pushing Daisies with yes. Brian Fuller? Yes. Well, Brian Fuller has now put me into Hannibal. Oh, his new Hannibal Lecter TV show. Yes, and I'm Hannibal's friend, a socialite friend, and uh, so Are you I. Playing get... a crazy lady. No. Oh, okay. A socialite. Well, but Hannibal hangs out with. Oh, he's very well cultured. This is prior. Oh, right. This is this a prequel. This is prequel. Right. Okay. And uh, he's very cultured, and he has these great dinners, and I'm uh, I love his meals. I have no idea that I'm eating brains and all that, but I, I and it's just the very beginning of the the character, so I have no idea That's where it'll go. Wonderful. But I get to wear a nice gown, and I always like that. And he described the beautiful, and I went, oh, I love this character. <laughs> Now I want to ask you because I know you run Pushing Daisies with Kristen Chenoweth, right. and I know you run Bunheads last year with Sutton Foster. You work with mm -hmm. a lot of theater people yes. out in LA. Um, do you do when you work with these people? Do you hear them sort of talk about, "Oh my God, oh, do you, you must get that a lot." Like the Little Shop people, you know, the musical yeah. theater generation that grew up with Little people Shop. People are kind to me. They, 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 they uh, uh, for the most part, yeah. Actors, actors. Yeah, I, but I'm not going to talk about that stuff. You don't, That's you don't embarrassing. like that. No. Don't? I'm going to be embarrassed to watch myself on screen. I don't watch myself so you, much. So watching, do you watch the movie when it comes on? I mean, I, I know I've, I stop my whole life at Little Shops on TV and watch it. Do you watch no. it? No. When's the last time you saw the whole movie? Jeez. 1986. <laughs> Probably. I, 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 yeah. I, Are you going to watch it? Tomorrow? I have to be. I'm with the, the audience. They're all going to see me. It's going to be so weird watching. Well, Are we going to put gonna a spotlight be, on you? I hope not. Because <laughs> I'll be, I mean, I, it's going to be that I'm not doing it, making them laugh. You know, <laughs> at the very beginning, when I first did my first film, Next Stop Greenwich Village, and I remember, you know, I have nude scenes in that. Yeah. And um, my mother was in the audience. And I remember pacing in the back going, how can I be... I could leave and they could still be watching me. And it was just so weird that people could be watching me. So this time, you know, I mean, but it'll be great watching it with fans, but 
you know, I, I'm used to doing it. And, you know, because recently DC, when I did D Gay Men's DC, DC Gay Men's Chorus, I be, they asked me to be Audrey, so I got on the whole Oh, you did drag, the Audrey drag? And I did Audrey. <laughs> yeah, I did. Wonderful. I did it. Yeah. And it was actually, I said, whoop, the girls still can pull it together. This is <laughs> shocking. Uh, that was even more shocking. You know, I, I suppose a wish, and you know this wish. I, there's so many people that write me, that girls that have done Audrey. And yeah. I have to say that I always wanted, before I can't do it anymore, and maybe I still can't. You know, I've always wanted. Of course, wanted. you still can do Audrey. I, I still, I. There is a yen for me. Well, mainly because I, I'm very lucky. I have very young people who really love me, and very old people, and then people in between, who like me. My audiences are very cruisy. They're very cruisy. <laughs> so you should come to. It's probably going to be cute tonight. But they are very cruisy, and they always happen, and they several, several different ages. And so, yes, for the young people. I, I was just told by some critic that uh, his parents actually solidified their marriage. They were, that we, they were gonna f get married. I mean, they were on the, one of the first dates when the vines came down and they jumped into each other, you know, the wife, the girl, jumped into each other's, m m her soon to be, yeah. then to be hugged. During, while the plant was taking over the so world. So he feel, and now, they, uh, he, he, he felt, he said, Little Shop was responsible for his parents getting together. So now who knows what's going to happen tomorrow night when we finally, uh, the entire movie audience, sees the ending and it's like, it's all color, special effects, 20 minutes, if 20 Frank, minutes of footage. If Frank says it's beautiful, it's beautiful. If Frank says it's beautiful, it's beautiful. But people might be leaping into each other's arms and who knows what's going to happen after tomorrow. Well, it'll be a sad ending. But it'll be extraordinary. I mean, think about all the special effects now. And yeah. this one is special effects with heart and with excitement and dearness and music. Gorgeous music. Well, I can't wait By to Alan see Mankin it. By Alan Menken and, and Howard, Howard Ashman. Ashman. And now, of course, if you're, if you're not going to be there tomorrow, on October 9th, October it's coming 9th. out on Blu-ray. Oh, please, please, please go rush to your store. Please buy it. And if sales are good, they may let me do this in London. I mean, this screening. I would love to do oh, a lot of things Oh, you don't want to do Little Shop of Horrors London. in London? I would love we to. We want to do Little Shop of Horrors everywhere. I, 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 want, to, I want Ellen Green. I would love to. Well, you see, the thing is, you know, you, you, if you buy it, and that's the thing. I just, I, if it didn't buy, if I, if I look like my... A grandmother in Archie's closing, then I'd say, no, no, please don't go near that stage. Please, mm -hmm. with it, please let, oh, you don't let your daughter on the stage, Mrs. Whatever that is. Her, yeah. Yes. Well, obviously, we're not dealing with a, with a grandma here. I hope um, so. I, I hope think not. I think we can pull it off. And I also <laughs> have to say, I want New York to give me a job because I think I really want to come back. Uh, I miss, let's do I miss it. New York. I was coming back, coming down uh, Central Park looking at it and going, oh my God, I forgot. One thing, this is home. And two, how much I miss it. Wow. Okay, so we're gonna talk now about, we're gonna make a list of shows for Ellen Green to do immediately. But um, everyone needs to check out Little Shop of Horrors either in person tomorrow, if you can, if you can knock come. over somebody for a ticket. <laughs> or uh, October yes. 9th in the comfort of your home. Thank October you very much. October 9th, it's coming out in Blu-ray and please purchase it. Thank you, Alan. It's great to Bye. see you, as always. Oh, I love you. Love you, too.